Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another video on our channel. Um, today I'd like to introduce you what I believe is one of the most um, interesting and most uh, useful um, features of uh, Google Script um, and really opens um, a lot of doors for all your, your projects. Um, so what we'll be looking at uh, today is how to uh, search and import uh, data from your Gmail uh, inbox into Google Sheets. Okay, so um, you can see I created a very basic Google Sheet here with just uh, three columns with the um, sender uh, column that uh, where we'll store the email address, um, the time of the receipt of the email that we're looking for, and the subject. Okay, so this is just the first video um, where we'll uh, be showing that. Um, I might do another one later on um, about how to, you know, handle attachment, for instance. Um, but let's get started. So um, I just uh, created a um, new project here. Um, as usual, we just go on Tool and Script Editor. I declared some basic variables to refer to the spreadsheet and the sheets we'll be using. And you can see in my a, uh, Gmail, I just created a folder called YouTube and I just uh, um, added a few emails in there. Uh, some I start and some aren't. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we are in our script editor. The first thing that we'll do is we'll declare another variable that we call threats. And um, it will really uh, look at um, the, the, the search um, that we'd like to perform, right? So um, I think you need to have a look in, the, in, the, in your Gmail. You can see that every time you move to a folder, um, you can see in the search field, there is a, a, a search query in there. So that is something that is really important for us because it's something that we're going to be using when we, uh, when we write our script. So um, if I go back to my script, um, I and uh, sorry, I just uh, one more thing. Um, remember how Gmail structures emails. So first at the higher level, you have threads, which are basically discussions and inside each thread, you will have messages and the message corresponds to, to an email, basically they send from one party to another. So um, let's start to um, search for all the threads that uh, are in that uh, in that YouTube folder. Yeah. Um, so I will use the Gmail app dot search, and uh, the query that we we'll write here is simply the one that is in um, in your search field in Gmail, right? So I just copy that and paste it there. Okay. Um, so that's a first thing. And you can um, you can just uh, do a console log and see what what is in there, or you will see how many um, threads are basically stored. So you can see in our um, in our inbox we had four threads here. I'll just save, run it. have a look at our log and you can see that it's actually um, you, you can't see the, the content of each uh, element but we have four elements in our in this um, array that we call threads um, and if you go back to our inbox you notice that we have four emails so that seemed to work um, fine um, what we need to do now is um, to um, capture or to extract the data right we said we want the data uh, from the sender we want the um, the date uh, when we receive that email and the subject. So we'll um, need to get this data for each of the messages that are in the um, folder. So we'll need to create two loops. The first one is the, um, a for loop uh, for the threads and the other one will be for uh, the messages. So let's create our first loop. Um, and then we need to declare another variable that we call messages. And um, that's 
we need to get the messages from each thread. So um, thread i dot get messages. All right. Now we can create our um, second loop that we uh, scroll through all the messages that we have for each thread. Right. So we create another variable. So um, we basically will start to get the details of the sender. So I want to put this data in the row four, starting row four in column uh, two, right? Column B is column two. So I'll refer to our sheets that get branch. then it would be i plus 4 so that we we um, start on row 4 but then we go to row 5 etc etc um, then and the column is sorry column 2 and uh, we'll just set um, the value um, that and uh, the value will be set as um, messages dot j dot um, get from okay so let's start with this then we'll do exactly the I'll just copy and paste the, this line and we'll do the same thing for the date and the uh, subject right so now we will put the dates on uh, in column three We use get date and on column four we'll get the subject. So we just have to type get subject. Okay, so let's uh, let's have a look at uh, what happens now. So we have an error in line 15. Okay, I'm just missing a parenthesis here and here and normally here as well. Okay, so let's run it. And you can see that here it worked just fine. So we get the uh, details of the sender. Uh, we get the date of receipt of the email and then we get the subject. Okay, um, there's just one thing that we need to fix now um, is the sender. And that's something that is a little bit annoying in, um, in Gmail. Um, and you can see that they actually import the, the full details of the sender, not just the email address, but also the name before. Um, and there's no function in uh, Google uh, script that I found at least uh, that returns only the email address. So uh, in order to do this, we need to use a um, regular expression. It's a little bit complex and I will not uh, go through the details of it to explain to you um, exactly how it works, but um, you can read a little bit more about it. But essentially what we are trying to do is to capture the um, characters of the string that is in between uh, this um, character here and that character here. Okay, so we capture only the email address. So um, there is a very um, good website here called regex101.com where you can actually um, check um, you know your your regular expression um, and what it returns right so um, as we said we only want to return the email address here so um, to do this I'll just go to here and get from I'll use replace now and this is where my regular expression will fit Let's see if that works. Um, okay. Um, so let's try again. Okay. So you can see that now um, with that little uh, tweak, we captured only the email address, which is kind of cool. 
Um, another thing that uh, I'll show you before I finish that first video is how to do a search on multiple parameters. So you can see that here uh, we looked at all the emails that are in these YouTube folders. But if I wanted to capture only the um, only the emails that I start here, um, I just need to add another um, search parameter here and if I'm not mistaken, that should be like that. And you can see that now it returns only the emails that have been started. So if you want to import that, easy, you just copy that um, uh, that search uh, query and you just change it here. Okay, I'll save. I'll just delete this. Let's run it again. And you see now we have these three emails at the start. So I think that's uh, that's all I wanted to show in this video. Um, I hope that it gives you a first understanding on how to import data from Gmail. Um, there's obviously a lot more that you can do, like uh, you know importing attachment and saving them in your uh, Google Drive. It's something that I'll be showing you in the next video. Um, but yes, I hope you uh, enjoyed it, that it's uh, being useful for you. And if you uh, like the video, just uh, subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye bye.